It's day one of our two day trip round zoos and stuff. Bank holiday vlogging practice and today we are at Lakeland Wildlife Oasis which is a really cool little place. Best little zoo in the lakes. Yep. It's at Millthorpe isn't it? Just off the M6. Just and it's, it's only small but you can get around it in like an hour or so but we like to spend the whole day here and sort of go back and forwards and see all the different animal activities and Make stuff sure like that. Make sure you see the lemur feeding. Yes, and possibly end up with them jumping on. Um, but yes, it's going to be cool so we'll show you around and see what you think. And tomorrow, hopefully it's Chester Zoo and we're going to do islands and we'll some fun. I'll probably do loads of walking which is good practice for Disney next month. So we'll see you in a bit. This is the rather funky Carolina duck who Oops, I nearly missed him there. He's got he's got a really cool plumage. It's kind of like a normal duck if a normal duck shops at some sort of fancy clothes place. Designer duck. Designer duck, yeah. Everyone loves a meerkat. Well, most people love a meerkat. And here's two meerkats on watch. <laughs> I've just noticed this as well. And hello. Hello, sweeties. He's trying to get out. <laughs> These are the most vocal meerkats I've ever seen. Or heard. Apart from like when you walk past the ones at Nosley in a t-shirt that's the same colour as the keepers. Which is a bit naughty. This is a bird's eye view of a meerkat. Question is, are they watching out for predators or are they watching out for dinner? I'm gonna say dinner. <laughs> yeah, they are definitely looking towards where the keepers come from. Bacon sandwiches for breakfast, I believe, is the uh, standard for meerkats. I think it's mealworm. Mealworm sandwiches. Mealworm something. For the winnie egg. Here's Pavan having a nice rollover in the storms. And I'm being attacked by a fly. Oops. You're going to jump straight back up. You're going to show off. Effortless. Oh, he spotted something. Yeah. Oh, the sheep. The cows <laughs> are running right there with the sheep. Yeah, I think he wants to eat our entire cat. <laughs> Is Gemma going to be in the tree or on the floor? In the tree. Hello. You there's a an, an orangutan's arms got your head. <laughs> That's lovely. <laughs> so of course when you're walking around Lakeland Wildlife Oasis you'll come across this beautifully painted shed here. And if anyone goes, ooh, who painted that beautifully painted shed? Well it was us. There we go. And she's covered it over with her arm. There we go. <laughs> A month old. And we have the crown crane in here. This tree's gotten big. <laughs> There's a the crown crane. Crazy crown crane. Yeah, I really like the that crown. <laughs> I suppose. There's more cranes. I think there's the demoiselle cranes over there. They're just lying down. Just lying down there in the bushes. I think they must be slightly less crazy because they're allowed to free roam. And we have some guinea fowl over here as well. They tend to get a bit noisier in the afternoon and they're a little bit bonkers. Oh, there's a Mara. This guy's off. So the Mara are allowed to free roam around the, the, around the grounds. And also, golden pheasants are allowed to re free roam and tend to like to attack wheelbarrows. Are you going to climb in there? No. Shall I, I climb in there? I don't think I'll fit. Shall I go in? You want to. I've Take always wanted to. You? Take the camera with you? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to have to take the bag off. There we go. Let's see if we can fit in here. Also, thank you. Didn't want to break my glasses. I'm probably too old for doing this, but hey, it's fun. Ow. 
Really should have brought knee pads. Now we get an alternative view of the meerkat. They're very cute. I'm also posing for a photo of him Gemma at this time. And off he goes. Anybody else around here? I'm gonna go out the way I came in. I'm breaking the rules like a rebel. Probably would be easier to do this if I wasn't holding the camera. was rather again. <laughs> I need to clean my shoes now. Gemma, don't touch the lemurs. Oh, I'm not touching the lemurs. <laughs> <laughs> Gemma's breaking the rules again by touching multiple lemurs. <laughs> I'm now breaking the rules by touching a lemur. You're not getting down? Are you comfortable there, are you, mister? Oh, missus. Are you going to poo on me again? Like you did last time. Come. Oh. There we go. Very cheeky. Very, very cheeky. <laughs> <laughs> New barn butterflies. Arachnophobes beware. <laughs> Gemma was pointing this one out, which is a salmon pink bird eating spider. She's quite big. And if I spin around here, there is a Mexican pink tarantula. That is pretty, really pretty. I wouldn't know how to handle it, like, but it is pretty. There's apparently whip scorpions in here. These are notoriously hard to find sometimes. So. Oh, there's no paper to do a rubbing. Oh, no, there is some paper to do a rubbing. <laughs> this isn't easy to do one-handed. helps if I do the rubbing on the carrot on the uh, pattern. A different colour. I'm gonna put Jammer's name on this I think. It's not going well. This is so much better than mine. <laughs> I'm blaming the crown, the crown doesn't work. There we go. And I'll write Gemma's name. She made this travesty. She doesn't even know I've done that. Cichlids. Whoa! I'd really like a cichlid aquarium. And we missed the long fish, but he's still at them there. 
And these are the blind cave fish, which have no eyes. There's one. They don't need them because they live in dark caves. Clownfish. And I think that coloration is the one that people refer to as Nemo when really it's clearly Merlin because it doesn't have the small fin. A tukey gecko. I love the colours. Really? Let's have a look. Oh wow, look at this. And the waxy monkey bug. Oh, he just, he just blinked in disappointment at me. This guy is the grumpiest looking frog ever. I don't want to talk about it. She's so nice, isn't she? Yeah. There's a lizard. Okay. Gemma's found a... I don't think it's the Nobby Newt. No, it's not a Nobby Newt. It's something else. That must be new in there. Yeah. The and there's a frog at the back there. Yeah, I saw the frog there. Down, down there, yeah. But that's the Asian side. You found the Nobby Newt? No. <laughs> Look at it. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but the, They're very the, young as well, aren't they? The, the foam nesting frog is there. Yeah. And the spiny toads at the back there. All oh, glory to the spiny toad. And some so much so common lizard. Cool. And there's a nice little yellow crazy frog. That is pretty. And you can even see the paint on it? The cane toad should have a little top hat in the cane. Oh, should we do the cane? Yeah. Is that a different type of zoo? Yeah, definitely a different type of zoo though. Oh, that's in a nice position on the Oh, yeah. I love um, chameleons. I love geckos too. But chameleons I really like. Gwaldi monkey and a pygmy, Marmoset, and the Marmoset is grooming the Gwaldi monkey, which is quite sweet. <laughs> That's the most of the inside part of it though. And apparently they're still grooming each other, which is still quite sweet. But yeah, we're going to get some lunch now. In the little cafe. The wild cafe. The wild cafe. I'm sorely tempted to buy this. Gemma is having the toffee cake. <laughs> I thought you were going to spit it out. <laughs> and I got some too. Oh, now you're going to Instagram the cake. Mm -hmm. We had some good lunch and a massive piece of cake. And now we're going to go and check out the outside for a bit. So if anything cool happens, I'm sure we'll fill it. Otherwise I'm going to get some photos. I told Lorraine. And I'd put on Facebook, come for the animals, but stay for wild cafes too. <laughs> yeah, nice one. Are you being attacked by insects? Yes. Okay. Wasp. It's wasp season, isn't it? Well, they might, yeah. <laughs> Why would you want to go when you be here? I don't know, it's waxy in there. <laughs> ah, Gemma's here now. Is this Loki looking at us here? I love the Yeah. And he got confirmed. It's, it's fair, isn't it? It looks cleaner, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, because he... pattern is much more, whereas yeah. Tara and Pabs fades as they get to the tail. Right, This yeah. is really... Vivid. Noticeable, that's so cute. We're all snuggled up together in the tunnel there, aren't they? Well, and his mum's washing his bum. Oh, what's that mum's doing? Like, He's a bit old for that, isn't he? Cool. She just get a hanky out and lick it and stuff. Yeah, I'll give him a spit wash. Put a pause. They have big paws for walking on snow. Or dramatic effect, cute. depending on how you look at it. <laughs> what the? This squirrel is odd. Hanging from his rear feet, eating a nut. That's some skill. I think I'd probably get about halfway through eating accidentally like go and plummet <laughs> head first to the ground. Oh, we had another one photobobbed. And we're right back on our way around to, walk, to look at the uh, 
Fossa and Gemma spotted the slow worm, which you've never seen before because it's a new species to this zoo. It's not a new species, full stop, better build. It already has a blood sickle, which is that thing that she's the fossa. Hopefully, she'll come out and eat it soon. I'll certainly have a good lick of it. There she is, Purdy the fossa. Absolutely beautiful animal. And if this is in focus. Clever girl! So they can squeeze along there. And she's getting it down to her height so it's a bit easier. Go on, Gemma, do us a snow leopard chuff. I can't help laughing too much. <laughs> 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 okay, so we're trying to make the noise that a snow leopard makes to its youngster, and tigers do it too. Um, Gemma's really good at it, aren't you? <laughs> Was that a snow leopard chuff? It's not on lap. That's quite a good snow leopard one, that's good. Mine's more tiger, I think. Yours is more tiger. They've got the accent of tiger in them. Have a look, look. <laughs> okay, you, get, you look to me. He's going, what the bloody hell are they talking about over there? Oh, he's interested. It's his keeper here. Yeah. Becky's there. I think we know there's an experience on today, so I think maybe it's. Way! These keepers here. Yep, yeah. they're here. Let's wander around. Okay. I'm not sure if you get them. They're old at the end of May. Our little girl Luna went to um, Italy just over a month ago. And our little boy Loki, who's over there with mum, is going to uh, Italy uh, next month sometime. So I say we're very privileged to be able to join the breeding scheme because breeding slow leopards is quite a slow process. Because usually uh, mum likes to look after her babies until they're completely self sufficient and old enough to uh, be wise enough to look out for predators and hunt for themselves perfectly well, the tree animals. So we're just really lucky that mum and dad get on so very well together. They're uh, pretty much inseparable. We do sometimes separate them for feeding like we've done today because uh, Pav is so very greedy. But when I separate them with a big item of food, he will howl the place down until they're back together again, which is ever so cute. Oh, so in the wild, snow leopards span the region of the Himalayas and they cover 12 different countries. They're the highest land predator and you can see how very well adapted they are at living in the cold climate with that uh, lovely dense fur coat. They've got small ears and that helps reduce the heat loss. 
those lovely big feet make brilliant snowshoes and uh, that excellent long tail not only makes a The you see it chasing the wasp? <laughs> and that's what a meerkat in a ball pool looks like. Yeah, With a spider as well. Easy bee. Hello. Did you have a good day? Had a very good day. Me too. Nice, quiet, relaxing day. No rushing oh, about. Yeah. <laughs> the Russian about will come tomorrow, although hopefully it'll be a little bit quieter. We're going to Chester Zoo tomorrow, so that's a much bigger zoo.